Hi, welcome back to the Star Cricket Academy YouTube channel. First of all, uh, I'm really, really thankful to all our subscribers. Uh, an initiative which we had started a few months back. We now have got about 4,000 subscribers and a very, very interactive channel. Lots of questions which have been asked and we try and you know, give answers to them. We're now going to be posting a series of videos for the next few weeks and months uh, with the idea that we are trying to answer the questions which has been asked and put on the forum. So we're going to try and do videos based on them. First of all, uh, before we start today's video, we're now based at the Jarrett Cricket Centre, which is a Reed School in Cobham. One of the best cricket centres uh, in the country now, a brainchild of Keith Medlicott, ex-England player and currently the head of cricket um, at Reed School. So I'm very, very thankful to, uh, to them because this is our new home. Today's topic is on mental side. We had done two videos on the mental aspects of the game and we're just going to try and extend what we had done with the mental aspect too, where we were focusing on the ball and that is something which I'm going to extend today and just highlight on being a little bit more aware to be on the present rather than the distractions which we have when we are playing sport or doing whatever. Uh, in terms of this uh, video, we are looking at the distractions which happens when we come in to play a match, whether you're a bowler or whether you're a batter, uh, the distractions could be something relating to past events or relating to future events. So if it's a batter, uh, you know, and a batter is going through a rough uh, phase and not able to score uh, runs, and getting out cheaply, getting out in a particular fashion, those kind of thoughts then stay in the past, it stays in your mind. And even though the person is hitting balls really well in the net, uh, really try, you know, working hard, when they come out to play a game, they kind of bring those thoughts into the match that leads to negative mindset. So if, you, if you've been out trying to play a ball, you've been caught in slips, suddenly as you walk into bat, if you're constantly thinking about that, that then means that when you play in the game, you know, you're a little bit you know, stiff, you're unable to play freely. So that's like, it's a sort of negative things which can come. There could be another retro side of this where if you've scored a hundred and you've really hit the ball well, so you can come in and you can be a little bit complacent, a little bit overconfident about that and you think you're still batting on hundred, but it's a new game and it's a new start. So that's what things happen with batters in terms of past thoughts and, and the results are that you're, if you're starting to think, you know, in terms of future, you're thinking, okay, I haven't scored in a few matches, what's going to happen with team selection, whether I'm going to get into the ma uh, get into a team, whether I'm playing a match. So these are all sort of things which are in the future. You know, you're thinking, so you're walking into bat, or you're walking into ball, instead of focusing on the ball, you're kind of going to the mindset that, what if I fail? Uh, or I hit that ball last match, I played really well, and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to do the same, so that leads to overconfidence. So these are the sort of distractions which we are always facing. So my advice to all young cricketers would be to really focus to stay on the present as you go into play. So in my second aspect video, I had spoken about watching the ball all the way to the bowler. Here again, I'm just trying to do the same sort of thing. I'm saying your concentration as a batter needs to start from the time the bowler starts running and bowls to you. So if you can just think that I'm just going to only focus on that ball, and play, those distractions you will be able to avoid. So almost like as you walk into bowl, if you're a bowler and you come into your bowling mark, if your focus for that point is right, I'm going to come and hit the top of off stump, that means you're positioning your mind to just focus on that top of off stump rather than thinking about how you bowl the previous ball or what you did in the match before so you're taking those things away and trying to be on the present same with batting and you know, i suggest that 
strongly, I strongly suggest try and stick to the present. Watch the ball from the time the bowler starts running and you've played the ball. That's done. That's over. The next ball, your concentration should again start and your focus should be again to find and watch that ball when the ball is starting to run. Rather than worrying about, okay, that was a great ball and I'm beaten or I didn't play that ball and I'm starting to think, oh, what's going to happen next ball if I change that focal point and say, right, my job as a batter is that's done. I can't change that. Even if I've hit a boundary, I can't guarantee that the next ball I can hit another boundary. If I've, if I've, if I've missed a ball, I've missed a ball. I can't get that back. So now I again start my focus when the bowler starts running and I fo focus on the ball and I just keep watching the balls. The more we keep focusing on watching the ball and play, although it looks very you know, simple, it works magic. So please try this and please uh, see if that has a good or, or effect in your performances and do let us know. Keep watching our channel and keep subscribing. Many thanks.